an optical scattering effect we've all observed is the sky. So when you have a clear sky, it's always blue, and it's actually a little bit polarized. So let's see how we can understand that based on what we've done so far. So let's see. You're going to be, to think about this blue sky, you're standing on the Earth. Right? There's not to scale here, and here you are. And let's say you're looking up. So there's your little eyes looking up. And above you, the key, as you may know, is the atmosphere. So the atmosphere has lots of molecules in it, right? N2, mostly, and O2, little molecules that act as dipole scatters. The light hits them, the electrons oscillate, it does exactly what we described in the previous board. So our source of light is the sun, and the sun, my sun, always wears sunglasses. We haven't figured that out yet. There's my sun. And the sun sends white light to your eye. So if you look directly at the sun, it will look white and it'll burn your eye. Don't, don't look directly at the sun. Um, it's hard to tell that it's white because once you look at it, it'll, it's hard to tell. But the sky isn't what you see when you look directly at the sun. It's what you see when you look to the side of the sun. So the sun sends white light uh, this way as well and white light this way as well. And what you see is the scattering of that white light off of the molecules in the atmosphere. So we get some scattering here, scattering here, scattering, scattering off the atmosphere towards your eye. And when you look at those, that scattering goes as 1 over lambda to the 4, like we said on the previous board. So the shorter wavelengths, the smaller number here means the bigger scattering, the shorter wavelengths scatter more. Blue scatters a lot more than red. So the sun's light really is white, you're just seeing it blue because of how it scatters. Okay, now the harder part, polarization. Polarization is a little harder to describe. So think of it this way, the blue light that comes sideways from the atmosphere is polarized, partially polarized, it's not perfectly polarized. And by sideways, I mean sideways from the sun. Okay, you'll see what I mean <coughs> as we describe it. So for this one, we're going to look down on the Earth. Okay, so here is the Earth, and here you are. Let's see, so there is your head, and there's your two eyes right there. You're on the Earth, you're looking out here. Here's the sun. Uh, okay, and the sun sends like we said, white light straight at your eye, and you don't want to look at it. But in addition to being white, it's also um, unpolarized. And by the time it gets to us, it's pretty much a plane wave, right? It's a big complicated optical mess happening here, and then it spreads out. Pretty good approximation um, as a plane wave, but unpolarized. So let's draw it like this, my sort of cartoon version of unpolarized. It has some E vectors this way, and then some like this. So these are meant to mean in and out of the board, right? So that's the arrow pointing out at you. Okay. Now, we got to think about what is the atmosphere going to do? We're surrounded by the atmosphere. Well, for the light that goes forward, the light directly from the sun is of course not polarized. It's, uh, well, it's unpolarized. It goes into your eye unpolarized. You won't see any polarization effect if you attempt to look at the white light. What's polarized is, now let's think about this light that came this way to the side, okay? <clears throat> so out here in the atmosphere, you're not out there, you're here. When you look that way, 
<coughs> you see what's scattered off the atmosphere. So it starts out unpolarized from the sun, and it's white. And then we got to ask ourselves, if you look to the side, this is what I mean by to the side, if you look this way, what are you looking at? What are you really seeing? You're really seeing the scattering off of molecules right there. Okay. So let's think about what's really going to happen to this molecule. Okay. So the molecule, chances are it's N2. Okay. So here it is. It's going to be hit with two polarizations of light from the sun. So if we sort of tilt it just a little bit, one is going to be polarized this way. And one is going to be polarized this way. Okay. So I'm representing the same molecule here. It's just the sum of these two polarizations. And we're separating them out. And we want to know which one of those is going to get to your eye. So this one, if you think about it, it's driving the dipole like that. The dipole moment is going up and down. And we just talked about how you'll get a lobe like this, and you'll get a lobe back, and you'll get lobes to the side and lobes to the back, but you'll get no scattering this way. Because we're along the dipole direction. All right. And now let's look at this one. This one is oscillating in and out of the board. So the dipole in, out of the board. Because the field is in and out of the board. So this gives you a nice big component this way, a big component this way, a big component this way, this way. This one really scatters toward your eye. Okay. They're both blue. So in both cases, it starts out white. We're seeing uh, white that favors the blue coming at us. But in this case, the component that you get is this one. And then that light is polarized. It's not completely polarized. It's just a little more, it's just some degree of polarization. And if you look this way, it's the exact same thing. Kind of polarized light. Because it doesn't completely lose this component. It's not perfectly at 90 degrees. There's molecules at all angles. There's light scattering multiple times off lots of stuff. You know, it doesn't go completely black. But it is pretty well polarized. The light to the front. So if you don't quite look at the sun, you just look a little bit to the side, not polarized. That's mostly forward scattered light. And you can see both of these dipoles will scatter forward. The one going up and down, forward is fine. The one going in and out of the board, forward is fine. So near the sun on the horizon, no polarization. It's really when you look to the side. Okay. What if you turn around and look back? The sky is still blue, right? The sky is still blue behind the sun. Then you're seeing backscattering. And again, since it's backscattering, the scattering direction is again perpendicular to both the E field motion this way and the E field motion this way. So behind the sun also is not polarized. Both polarizations scatter away. It's really just whenever you look um, to the side. You can see this if you go outside on a very clear day and you grab your big polarizer like this. And you take your big polarizer or your little polarizer, your polarized sunglasses, and you look towards the sun and try not to look at it too close. But as you turn it, you'll see no difference. But if the sun is this way and you turn this way, then as you turn it, you'll see a big effect of the polarization of the sky.